Hey everybody! In this video, we are going to talk about the real way to improve your aim in Fortnite, Apex Legends, or any other competitive shooter. You may have already seen my video about quick and easy aim fixes. I talked about things like finding the right sensitivity or using joystick extenders, getting a large mouse pad, or changing the way you hold your mouse to maximize your potential for accuracy. Even if you follow all of that advice, your aim might still be terrible. That's because good aim requires practice, and especially if you haven't played shooters before, you will lose most of your fights against players who have already developed their aiming skills playing games like Call of Duty, Battlefield, Apex Legends, Valorant, or Overwatch. If all of your opponents have more aiming experience than you, it means you need to find a way to catch up. But don't worry, it is very possible to catch up to those experienced players and even surpass them in raw aiming ability. I know the idea of aim training sounds daunting. You boot up a creative map or you install Kovacs aim trainer, but it's all up to you to decide what kind of scenarios to practice with. The best thing you can do is follow a guide. Most aim training guides will tell you that to develop strong overall aim, you need to practice and combine a handful of different skills. Aiming well requires smooth tracking, fast and accurate flicks, movement mirroring, and good reading skill required to quickly react to changes in direction and speed. The most important skills to practice first are tracking and flicking. Tracking aim requires you to relax and move smoothly with your target. Flicking requires you to tense your arm or thumb and turn as quickly as possible. Generally speaking, it's much more important to develop strong tracking aim than it is to improve the speed of your flicks. Flicks get your crosshair close to your target, but in most situations you will always adjust your flick with a second, relaxed micro-adjustment which looks identical to smooth tracking aim. If you can't relax after your flicks, you'll end up missing most of your shots anyway, even though you manage to put your opponent in the middle of your screen lightning fast with your flicks. You won't be able to hit shots without relaxing that tension and aiming smoothly. So that's why I recommend that beginner level aim trainers work on their tracking aim first. Sorry. Flicking is still very important for shotgun aim, for fast target acquisition, and you also need to have fast controlled flicks to build and edit quickly and consistently in Fortnite. Owned! You got so predicted! Did you guys see that? For mouse and keyboard players and also controller players in Fortnite, I recommend practicing first in Raider's solo aim trainer map and that map code is in the video description. Each scenario on this map trains a specific skill. Start by selecting SmoothBot, using a submachine gun to smoothly track the target. Spend three to five minutes trying to track the target as smoothly as possible. Spend another three to five minutes in one by one cone aim duel using a shotgun. Here, you'll switch from practicing tracking and try to flick as fast as possible to hit the target in the head. Finally, you will combine your tracking and flicks in the Bounce 360 scenario. Your goal is to flick onto a target as fast as possible and then relax and follow the target as smoothly as possible while it moves. Right as each target disappears, flick onto the next one as fast as you can. As these skills start to feel more natural, you can use aim duels to get one-on-one -on -one practice to test those skills on real players in a controlled environment. That aim duel map code is in the video description as well. As you grow comfortable shooting real players, try out more chaotic maps like Gun Game. This here is my favorite map, it's in the video description. After each elimination, you'll get a new gun, which might require a new playstyle. This game mode teaches you to read and predict your opponents, and it teaches you to change how you move around in fights based on the kind of weapon you're holding. If you play all of the scenarios on the solo aim training map and all of the scenarios on one-on-one -on -one aim duels, and you've tried out Gun Game, you might already have an idea about the more specific weaknesses of your aim. For example, some players have very good horizontal tracking, but when opponents are jumping or falling, their aim starts to shake. Unfortunately, Fortnite doesn't give you the resources to track your progress or compare your aiming skills to other players. If you are dedicated to the aim training grind, get Kovacs Aim Trainer on Steam. It costs $12 USD. If that's too steep of a price tag for you, Aim Labs is a viable free alternative. Kovacs Aim Trainer features thousands of unique scenarios with default playlists for you to follow along with. 
For example, there is a routine for Fortnite by Mr. Savage, which includes a handful of third-person camera scenarios designed specifically for the Fortnite camera perspective. For every scenario, you can see how your performance compares with every other player who has trained in that scenario. You can even see specific statistics showing your improvement over time in each scenario. Do you guys see what aim training does to you? The hardest part of Kovacs is knowing where to start. You have all of these resources, but you can't expect to improve quickly by choosing random scenarios. You'll need to find a training routine that specifically addresses your strengths and weaknesses. This is where the Voltaic aim training community is most helpful. Just like ranked competitive modes in Valorant or Apex Legends, Voltaic has a ranked aim training system designed to evaluate your performance in comparison with other players. The Voltaic benchmarks test your skills with a short list of Kovacs scenarios focusing on clicking, tracking, and target switching. After completing the benchmarks, you will receive your aim training rank. Based on your rank, you can use the corresponding Voltaic Fundamentals routine to get a comprehensive aim training playlist that matches your skill level perfectly. For example, if I score gold on the benchmarks, I will choose the gold fundamental training routine. As you feel your aim improving, make sure to try the benchmark routines a couple times every month. As you get better benchmark scores, you will advance to a higher level of fundamental aiming routine. If your benchmarking revealed problems with a certain skill, you can use the Voltaic issue-specific routines to even out your aiming performance. For example, if your flicks are great but your tracking sucks, you should use the smoothness routine. You can find the links to benchmarking, fundamentals routines, and the issue-specific routines in the video description below. Kovax is great for improving your raw aiming ability, but it's not so great at training your recoil control or your movement. The next part of aim training is applying your fast flicks and smooth tracking with your real gameplay. Every time you play your main game, you need to focus on using fast flicks or smooth tracking every time you move your crosshair. By making all of your aiming adjustments with either your fastest flicks or smoothest tracking, you will have a much easier time learning to use different weapons, different movement techniques, or unique game mechanics like building and editing in Fortnite. There's really nothing more to aim training. You evaluate your aim, you work on your weaknesses, and you start practicing those new skills in real games. The hardest part is committing to a training schedule. Aim training is just like strength training at the gym. You need to spend at least half an hour every day, three to five days a week, actively focusing on your training if you want to see long-term improvements. So instead of looking for quick fixes, get in the game. Get in the firing range of Apex Legends, get in Fortnite's creative mode, install Kovacs or Aim Labs, and get to work. You have the resources in the video description. Make sure to read them thoroughly, follow the instructions, but most importantly, try to do it every day if you can. If you stick to the program and train consistently, your aim will improve. If you have any questions, I'm happy to demonstrate during my live streams at twitch.tv slash billy underscore bicep. Thanks for using code Billy Bicep in the item shop. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. I'm so good. Oh, yeah.